Welcome to the chapter Water. This slide presents the overview of the chapter. Learning objectives. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to explain the importance of water. Identify the sources of water. Introduction. Observe the given image and answer the questions that follow. Where do we get water from? Why do we need water? Is water essential for plants and animals? In which season does water in wells dries up? Why do we need water? Let us know the importance of water to human beings. We use water for various purposes every day from morning to night. For example, we use water for brushing, bathing, drinking, washing clothes, cleaning utensils and so on. Match the following. Look at the pictures and match the following. Sources of water We use water every day. But do you know where does the water come from? Let us study about it. We usually get water from rivers, lakes, ponds and wells. The water in rivers, lakes and ponds comes from rain. The water we get from rain is called rainwater. In cities, people get water in houses through taps. In villages, people get water from wells, taps, tanks, ponds, hand pumps and canals and store them for their needs. Importance of Water to Animals Now let us know the importance of water to animals. Similar to human beings and plants, animals also need water for their survival. If they don't drink water, they will die. Make a note. Once a camel drinks water, it can stay without drinking water for a number of days. It drinks a lot of water when available and stores it in its body. Water, our life. Let us recall the importance of water in our life. Water is a very important resource. Water is essential for all the living beings on the earth to survive. We should not waste valuable water. We should save and use water. Drink only purified water. We must take precautions before using water. Summary let us recap the highlights of this chapter. In this chapter, you have learnt about the importance of water in our daily life. You have also learnt about various sources of water. Follow-up work Let's take up the following activity. In which containers do you store water at your home? Discuss with your friends and write what other purposes we use water for. What are the different kinds of work which require more water? What kinds of work require less water? What other purposes do animals require water for other than drinking? Test your understanding of the lesson by taking the mock unit test. You have successfully completed the chapter, Water.